Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. A couple of weeks ago, I covered the day without cars in Paris, France. Now, the entire city is set to eliminate all non-electric cars by 2030. Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo made the call last week, which follows a previously announced plan to eliminate diesel-powered cars from the city by 2024. According to the Paris deputy mayor in charge of transport, Christophe Najoski, this is about planning for the long term with a strategy that will reduce greenhouse gases. We are seeing a revolution in terms of mobility and on the issue of climate. In a climate plan released by the mayor's office, the city emphasized that it was going to make the transition easy for its citizens, over 60% of whom don't own a personal car. Additionally, Paris has invested more in public transit and bike lanes. Although some citizens have criticized Hidalgo's initiatives, the socialist mayor is intent on advocating for less reliance on motor vehicles. According to a new in-depth study published in The Lancet, pollution around the globe now contributes to an estimated 9 million deaths annually worldwide. This figure is more than three times as large as those killed by HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria combined, and the true total could be higher due to the unknown impacts of some pollutants. Most deaths from pollution occur in developing nations such as India, China, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, and can be attributed to sources such as dirty air, tainted water, and toxic mining. The researchers also estimated a loss of trillions of dollars in welfare from pollution, which inhibits the GDP and economic growth of already low-income countries. The study concluded that, quote, pollution endangers the stability of Earth's support systems and threatens the continuing survival of human societies. A colony of around 40,000 Adélie penguins in East Antarctica has suffered a catastrophic breeding event, with all but two chicks starving to death. In the region called the Daily Land on Petrels Island, French scientists discovered just two surviving chicks in the thousands of starved penguins and unhatched eggs strewn across the region. Overall, Antarctica has had a record low amount of summer sea ice, but the area around the colony was an exception. The reason behind this die-off was the unusually large extent of sea ice late in the season, meaning the penguins had to travel an extra 100 kilometers to forage for food, leaving their chicks behind in the cold and rainy weather. Anthropogenic causes, such as fishing, also threaten penguin populations. Jan Roper Couder, lead researcher from France's National Center for Scientific Research, has called for a marine protected area to be established in the region. Russia successfully launched a satellite into orbit on October 13th that will monitor Europe's atmosphere and study air pollution around the globe. The UK-assembled satellite, called Sentinel-5P, is part of the European Union's Copernicus Earth Monitoring Program, which aims to develop a constellation of satellites. It is estimated to make 20 million observations per day and use satellite data to build maps of polluting gases such as nitrogen oxide from cars, as well as harmful particles. Major uses for the data will be in delivering air quality forecasts for citizens, as well as informing the policies of member states in a variety of issues such as fisheries management to urban planning. Scientists say that the world's deepest lake, Lake Baikal, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is undergoing a crisis due to threats from algae blooms, poaching, and pollution. Lake Baikal is located in Siberia and holds approximately one-fifth of the world's unfrozen freshwater, as well as more than 3,600 plant and animal species. However, The Guardian has reported that this major tourist attraction has faced multiple threats in recent years, including the disappearance of the Omo fish due to uncontrollable fish poaching and climate change. Omo is a salmon species found only in Baikal and has long been the main local source of food in the region. Another peril the lake ecosystem faces is the rapid growth of putrid algae, a consequence of absorbing polluted runoff. Despite a special 1999 Russian law that aims to protect the lake, science funding is limited at a time when studying by call is most vital. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. Thank you.